today, 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 we are going to be doing crystal tapping, crystal, 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 crystal tapping, crystal tapping, and we are going to be doing a little crystal tour, a little crystal, 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 crystal tour. I figured that it'd be a fun little lo-fi video, since the last time I did crystal tapping, I did not have nails. Um, so, we are going to be doing crystal tapping with nails, with nails, with nails. It's going to be very fast, fast, fast and aggressive. While we do this, while we do this, while we do this, we are going to be, um, teaching you about crystals. I'm going to teaching you, teaching you, teaching you, teaching you, teaching you, teaching you, teaching you all about crystals. So, get excited, 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 get excited. First, I'm going to start with the crystals on my wrist. We have, we have some golden, 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 golden tiger's eye. We have some golden tiger's eye. Oh, one of my nails. I thought I fell off. Golden tiger's eye, golden tiger's eye, and then we have some rose quartz, some rose quartz, some rose quartz, rose quartz, rose quartz, rose quartz, rose quartz. And we have moonstone, 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 which this one isn't super shiny, this one isn't super, 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 isn't super shiny, but it's okay. And we have some peach, 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 peach. Sunstone, and I really like this. I really like this. I find it to be very cute, very cute, very cute, and it compliments, 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 compliments moonstone, which is um, right here. Hold on. It's moonstone, compliments moonstone, which is right here. Sunstone and moonstone. They're buddies. They're buddies. They're in love. They're in love. But don't tell anybody. Okay. So I'm gonna go. Last time I did this. Last time. Last time I did this. It was very like kind of sporadic, and I feel like it wasn't as entertaining. But I want this one to be super entertaining and um, a lot more helpful. So we're going to go in groupings. We're going to go in groupings. I'll tell you the element that I correspond with and generally what they're known for. Um, and we're going to go kind of more in like an order of kind of like water, fire, air, masculinity, femininity, um, and things like that. So I'm going to start with a salt lamp. Um, salt is the most um, neutral, 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 neutral um, thing you can have. Salt isn't really aligned with an element, from what I know, um, and it's a good cleanser, so, oh my gosh, sorry, this salt lamp's really heavy, it's heavy and my nails are gripping really, so it adjusts, which is really, really pretty. I think she's so pretty, I love her, 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 she's great for, do you want, do you want a salt crystal? It's nice and crunchy, they don't taste good, I lick them more, 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 they suck, they don't taste good, they don't taste good at all, but anyways. I love her. And I have some salt um, bath rocks here at Earth Day Smart gave me as a gift for our anniversary, um, which today is actually our year and a half anniversary. This was for our one year, I think. No, no, no. We didn't celebrate a year until we were in college. This was for our six months. She gave me like a whole set of things. It was very cute. So, thank you, Earthy. They're beautifully scented. Um, they go along with salt in your bath to have a nice salt bath and they melt super slowly which is really nice because you don't use them just once you use them multiple times we're gonna go really quickly really quickly really quickly to the selenite based things i have another selenite but i don't know where it is this is selenite now 
there's like a little bit, 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 they are related. They are very, very close. Just like cat's eye and tiger's eye, like they're really close. Um, but there's like one mineral away and difference, and I don't remember what it is. So sorry. But feldspar and selenite are a little bit different, but they do the same thing. This you can just like use to cleanse your room, yourself, your crystals, and you can wave it over anything and just kind of cleanse, kind of cleanse, 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 cleanse. Because it is a salt and salts cleanse. Desert Rose, Desert Rose, and I love my Desert Rose. I don't want to tap her too much. I don't want to tap it too much just because I don't want it to like crumble.
and little baby rose quartz. Little baby rose quartz. Super cute. Okay. And then... And then I have this one. This is a rose quartz roller. And so I actually stepped on it and then I tried to glue it back together and it did not work out. So I have tape on it. And I have another roller that I use routinely. But this is my emergency roller. If I can't find Pam, it's this one. And I love, 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 love my rollers. If I were to give you beauty secrets, my two beauty secrets, my two, my two, my two, my two beauty secrets to have clear skin. Three beauty secrets, actually. I use a roller morning and night after I put in my serum. And then it's cleared up my skin and gotten rid of my cystic acne because what you do is you're draining your lymph nodes and it drains the cystic acne. So that is my tip for that. And then I use the numbers in number five serum that has single-handedly gotten rid of all of my acne. I don't know if you were with me at the beginning of my channel, but if you were, you might be able to see that I had acne underneath my makeup. I tried my best, tried my best, tried my best to hide it, but I feel like you can still probably see it just a little bit. Um, but yeah, that is, that is that. And then rose water. Rose water, rose water, rose water is a very gentle toner that I use morning and night 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 and
is from a geode amethyst is associated is associated is associated with water with water 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 with water what 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 water or earth actually you know what I need to brush up on my crystals because I thought I knew what I was talking about but now that I'm thinking about it it might be associated with earth but I believe it's also associated with water okay anyways 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 um and this is associated with intuition and sleep and dreams intuition sleep and dreams and um like intuitive abilities so that's amethyst for you that's amethyst for you i'll show you all my amethyst i have this amethyst point which is beautiful and stripy that earth got me earthy 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 she got me that and then i got myself this from a from a gem show a gem show gem show gem show gem show i parted with the guy i parted 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 parted, parted with the guy for this one um but yeah these are gorge. gorgeous 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 and i love how they look almost just like completely similar except for the stripes yeah, the stripes, the stripes, the stripes and then this one's like more pointed towards this end which I think is cool this one's kind of lopsided but I like it I think it's cute, I think it's cute and then this has like a little hole through it or you could like make a necklace out of it which would be a cool necklace so maybe I'll do that maybe, maybe I have some amethyst in a jar. Amethyst. Okay, and then I have some little baby amethysts that I'll just put in my hand for you and show you. associated with Sagittarius for whatever reason and a couple other signs as well but it's a good Sagittarius 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 stone um blah, blah, blah. and I love it and it's great for sleep so if you keep it under your pillow 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 keep this baby keep this baby underneath your pillow and she will do wonders um this is my favorite Labradorite stone ever of all time because look at how shiny she is she's like a dragon scale like a dragon dragon And it was like forty dollars, genuinely. But I got this such a long time ago when I was still in high school, and I, I had what felt like endless amounts of money that I didn't have to work super hard for. <laughs> uh, don't leave high school, kids. 
Um, anyways, this is my favorite thing that I own, honestly. Probably my favorite thing that I own. I love it. It looks like a dragon's kill. It's gorgeous. Just look. Look at her. 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 I haven't this time yet. You're asleep. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. I love 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 her so much. So much. So much. She's so gorgeous. She's so gorgeous. She is just so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. I could show you this for hours. I honestly think I might do a video with this. And just like show it to you and be like, look how shiny this is, like in our light trigger video, like in the light trigger video, I feel like this would be kind of cool, because it's nice and bright, it's nice and bright, and it's mesmerizing, it's mesmerizing, it's mesmerizing, it's so gorgeous, ugh, I love this stone, okay, sorry, Labrador is actually one of my favorite stones, okay, and then I have this other one, this one's not quite as pretty, um, it was very cheap from a farmer's market, but I still love it, I still love it anyway, I still love it, love it, love it anyway, Labrador is very much an underrated stone, so it's not that expensive, um, don't make a TikTok famous, please, I'm begging, because it'll be like Malachite and be super expensive. Though Malachite is hard to find, I will say, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't want another TikTok, TikTok trend stone, and then something like Rose Quartz is like $500, because Rose Quartz prices went up once it was popular on TikTok. Um, this is my Labradorite waist chain. Um, I'm not a crystal girl because of TikTok. <laughs> I am a crystal girl because my family is Caribbean and spiritual and I have a whole, I have a whole bag of herbs and oils over there that I want to unpack with you guys. I think it would be fun. I haven't unpacked it since coming back from college. Bad on me. I haven't made tea since I came back from college. Isn't that crazy? Anyhow, yeah. um, it's the Afro-Latin families for real and we have a cure for everything. I have tons of herbalism books and things like that that I could show you. I want to teach you guys basic herbalism, basic, basic, basic herbalism. Um, but yeah, spirituality and crystals and herbs are not just a trend. People actually incorporate this stuff into their everyday lives. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will say that seeing other people doing it helped me, helped me, helped me, helped me, helped me. Um, understand things, get more into it, but... My mother has been making crystal jewelry for, like, 30 years, and then I just hopped on it because I found them pretty. <laughs> so, I edited these. I thought they were ugly because they had, like, pink, random, like, fake stones on them, so I put real quartz on them. Um, because they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Okay. This video is going to end up being way longer than I intended, but you know what? But you know what? But you know what? That was my Labradorite collection. <sighs> now we're gonna move on to the clear quartz and then we're gonna get into the niche stones, guys. Oh my gosh, these are all the popular stones. These are all my popular stones. Okay, we have quartz. I'm gonna try and get through this. Quartz can be substituted for any for any stone in anything that you're doing. I know, quartz is a substitute for any stone in anything that you're doing. Quartz is just kind of like one of those generic stones. Clear quartz is, um, and it can help with mental clarity. I used to take this stuff with me to tests. Um, I used to make like a little crystal, a little crystal collection every, um, every day and take it with me. That is how I lost my obsidian. I lost my obsidian on the field, on the field, on the field of a game that I went to because I used to keep them because I'm playing lacrosse. I used to keep them in my little skirt. We used to wear skirts and that nasty. Um, so I would keep them in my skirt and I lost an obsidian on the battlefield that way. Um, did we win? I don't remember. <laughs> Probably. I think we did actually. I think it was a tough game and we won. Um, this is a clear quartz crystal. Or crystal chunk. It's a clear quartz chunk. Clear quartz chunk, 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 chunk. Little chunk. Okay, there's that. And then we have this one. It's just a normal clear quartz. I'm like getting overwhelmed by the amount of crystals I'm showing you guys. This is all clear quartz. All of it is clear quartz. Okay. And I have a little rose quartz that looks like clear quartz, and it's rose quartz though. It's rose quartz though. It's rose quartz though. She's just a little bit confused. And then I have smoky quartz. I do have those. And these also help with mental clarity, just like regular clear quartz and um, intuition. And quartz is associated with the earth, I believe. The earth, the earth, the earth. But 
once again, it can step in for anything. Anything if you are in a crunch and you need a specific stone, quartz is like absorbent and like does whatever energy things you want. At least that's what they want you to think. <laughs> this is the geode. And I believe that this is also just regular cook clear quartz. Okay. <sighs> Now I'm moving on to the masculine stones. Those were all mostly associated with femininity. This is carnelian. I broke this. This is a focus stone. And so I would just like do this and I accidentally broke it by dropping it. <laughs> so this is my carnelian. Carnelian is a stone of seduction. Seduction and masculine energy associated with the planet Mars. Let's blend the Mars and the planet Mars. And it's good for fire signs. Fire signs, fire signs. This is the one that attracts people to you because... It is for sexual radiance. Sexual radiance. Don't demonetize me. I said it like 30 minutes into the video. <laughs> so, this is Carnelian. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. Um, if you want to feel bold and fiery and you really want to attract, 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 attract people into your life, I would go for Carnelian personally. Um, great for confidence. And you've got to be confident wearing it, too. Um, this is Fire Agate. It's, like, similar to Carnelian. It's, like, a little clone stone. Um, I used to make Fire Agate bracelets that I thought were Carnelian because it was sold to me as Carnelian. I really looked at it. It's Fire Agate. So, if you are buying crystals, they have a lot of dummy crystals that they will say is one particular crystal. It is not. Half the time. Not half the time, but there are a lot of crystals that are sold as other crystals, is the bottom line. So be careful. Be careful. There's a big debate whether amethyst and citrine oops, can be interchangeably sold. Because if you is if you burn amethyst, if you burn amethyst, it turns into citrine. But some people say that it's just yellow amethyst. But citrine and amethyst are both in the quartz family, as is rose quartz. Okay? They're all the same thing as mother quartz here, but they just have very slightly, sim very slightly different, very slightly, 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 slightly different chemical properties that cause them to be different, or they're exposed to different things like heat. So, they're all in the same family, but they're a little bit different. Bottom line, they're all the same thing, but they're not. But they are, but they're not, and people fight about it. People fight about it. People fight, 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 fight. People fight to the nail about this. Okay, this is Tiger's Eye. It's a perfume bottle. It's a perfume bottle. And I actually think that I have some perfume in here that I made. I make perfumes and oils and candles. Um, I'll do a little candle tour some at some point, at some point, at some point. Yeah, there's oil in here. It smells nice. I'm just gonna close that back up. But, um, I made a perfume oil and it's in here. And this is supposed to go in a necklace. I make my jewelry. Um, this is not something that I made. This is something that Earthy gave me once again. Um... I think it's gorgeous. I forget what kind of stone it is. I looked it up. I don't remember. It's not Chalcedony though, so um, I don't remember what it is, but I think it's really cute. Really cute. Really cute. Really cute. Really cute. Really cute. Okay. We're staying on task now. So that was my that was my carnelian. Masculine and seductive energy. It doesn't You don't have to be like a man or masculine to wear it, but it is associated with masculine energy because it's associated with Mars. Venus is feminine. Mars is masculine. Bottom line. Pretty simple. Um, big energy, Mars. Soft energy, Venus. Remember that? Remember that. Keep it in your coco, in your coco, in your coco bolo, in your coco bolo. In your coco bolo. Keep that in your coco bolo. In your head. Okay. Now we have, I'm like unraveling. Now we have obsidian. We have obsidian. 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 Obsidian, obsidian. This is golden obsidian. This is golden obsidian. And some golden obsidian is silver instead. Weird, huh? So normal obsidian is just black, but the golden obsidian has this like beautiful shine to it that kind of reminds me of moonstone and peach moonstone. And obsidian is just generally a protection stone. I mean, there's not much more to it than that. Protection masculinity. Um, I love obsidian. I think it's quartz. And I don't know what it was, so I'm sorry. Uh, but the element is fire. Okay. 
then I have a gold MCM bracelet. These ones are actually golden and not silver, if you can tell. And yeah, my gold MCM bracelet. I love her. 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 Or I guess I love him. <laughs> I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. Okay, so there's that. And then I have this little obsidian raindrop that my best friend gave me. Look, look, it has a little shine to it. It has a little shine to it. It's green on that side. You can really tell in the sun. Okay, anyways, you can tell in the sun. Um, this is my little obsidian raindrop. She's so cute. And then I have some pyrite. Some pyrite, some pyrite, some pyrite. Pyrite, pyrite is associated with masculinity and fire. Um, fool's gold. Fool's gold, as they call it. Fool's gold. Fool's gold. Fool's gold, as they call it. And fool's gold is good luck. Pyrite is good luck. And it is associated with masculine energy. Um, which I think is really cool. It's just copper. Um, and something happened to it. <laughs> something happened to it. But it's copper. It's the bottom line. It's it's a copper based metal. Um, which is really cool. Okay. And then we have leopard jasper. Now I'm really new to leopard jasper, so I'm not even gonna lie to you, I don't remember what it like does. But it is associated with masculinity that much I do know. 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 And it's associated with fire. Most masculine things are associated with fire, feminine things are associated with water. There are exceptions. But that's the general rule. That's the general rule. Um, I'm a Sagittarius, so I have more masculine energy because I am a fire sign. General, general rule, general rule. Um, fire signs tend to be more aggressive and go getters and have bigger energy, bigger, bigger energy, and we're more choleric, 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 choleric. Air signs are more sanguine, and fire signs, I mean, water signs tend to be more melancholic, which leaves air signs. which are more phlegmatic. Um, yeah, that would be the general. And if you don't know choleric, sanguine, phlegmatic, th those are like kind of big personality archetypes. Um, phlegmatic being anxious, um, caring, softer, more nurturing, melancholic being on the, s like, on the calmer, um, sadder, go with the flow, mel melancholy side, obviously. Choleric is more like your typical type A. Um, choleric people are go-getters and aggressive. Um, and to be like your typical military person, like your general, your general, your general, your general, your general. And they're more extroverted, whereas melancholic and phlegmatic people are more introverted. And then sanguine is your typical, like, oh, like, party type person, fun loving, excitable, um, good sense of humor, um, tends to go to parties, make friends, extrovert, but the kind, um, gracious extrovert that tends to get walked over. <laughs> Where the cleric people are the extrovert that gets things done, and um, yeah, so look into that cleric, sanguine, phlegmatic. I don't remember the actual name for that system, um, but I believe it's more accurate than like ENTJ, whatever, because I'm on any given day, I'm between ENTJ, ENTP, INTP, INTJ. That's a broad range because I'm an ambivert, so I think that's really interesting. We could talk psychology all day. Apparently, the Myers-Briggs tests, the MBTI tests, are not accurate. They're not accurate. They are, that is not correct. They're not accurate. So, that, that, that is my two cents. That is my two cents about that. Um, but I'm cleric sanguine. Um, so, I am aggressive. And I work a lot. I'm a workaholic. And I don't have very much patience. Um, but, on the flip side, my sanguine side is excitable and fun-loving and all those fun things, but I'm more choleric than anything because I lack the essential need of patience. <laughs> This is the face roller that I use every day. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this is my amethyst roller and I use it every day. Um, once in the morning, once at night, and um, it has helped me clear my acne. As you can see, with just minimal concealer, I have a little bit of like discoloration, but for the most part, my skin is clear. These are like drawn on freckles. Anyways, I'm gonna do a whole skincare thing because I'm excited. Get excited, get excited, get excited, get excited, get excited, get excited about Korean beauty, guys. Get excited about Korean beauty. Because I love, 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 love,
Okay, I forgot this one in the Love Stones one. Rhodonite, Rhodonite. Rhodonite is a highly, 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 highly underrated. Underrated. I don't know if this is Rhodonite or Redonkersite, but they're very similar. Underrated stones. Um, they are these beautiful, like, little Dalmatian kind of situations. Um, and they are pink and black, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. And that's a good love stone as well. So if you're looking for love stones, it's associated with water and Venus. And that's a love stone, so. Yeah. That would be my recommendation for you. Then I showed you Citrine already. I don't need to show it to you again. You know what Citrine is, right? Nod your head, yes. <laughs> kidding. Citrine is, um, is associated with fire and associated with energy. <laughs> associated with energy, where I'd say that carnelian is a more choleric stone, citrine is the more sanguine stone, sanguine, 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 sanguine stone, sanguine stone, and so that is best for, like, I'm not gonna tell you what signs are associated with, oh, it's my birthstone, it's my birthstone, <laughs> I forgot about that, carnelian, because of Mars is associated with Aries, and citrine, because of the sun is associated with all fire signs, but is the upper zone of Sagittarius. Yes. Yes, that is a fact. That is a fact. Um, I don't know why I said that so unsurely. <laughs> that is a fact. Um, also, look at my shirt. Wait. I gotta show you. Look at my shirt. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? Um, it's the girl with the pearl earring. I love, 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 love paintings. I love Renaissance and, like, classical art. So, um, this shirt is shed between me and her because, um, she likes it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> We're almost done, guys. I'm getting emotional. I'm not. Don't worry. Okay. We already showed you jade earlier, so I'll speed past the jade. Oh, I'll speed past the jade. I have various types of jade. Um, great for fortune, luck, all those things associated with earth. Um, Earth, associated with Earth, and they are amazing and do a myriad of things, and they are anti inflammatory and are great for your health. So, from not just a spiritual perspective, jade is great for your health. For your health. For your health. And, um, I know that some people are like weird about like crystals and like religion. Crystals are found in every religion, including Judaism, which is the base of Christianity. Um, this is like a super niche thing to start talking about. I'm so sorry, but, um, crystals were found on the ifods, the prayer shawls of, um, ancient prophets, um, in, in biblical days. So, if you are, like, confused about how crystals could be, like, witchcraft or paganism, um, witchcrafts, I mean, <laughs> sorry, crystals are used in, yes, paganism, but also, I believe in Islam, um, also in Buddhism, and, um, a lot of other religions, um, and also in the base religion of Christianity, which is Judaism. So, get excited. Crystals are for everybody. <laughs> Crystals are for everybody. It doesn't matter what religion you are. They're for everybody. Um, they've been used throughout all of time in every religion, practically. So, um, crystals are not just pagan. They're not just Buddhist. Um, they have incredible significance in those religions. But they are actually for everyone. It's really, really cool. And if you guys want a part two, I'll make a part two because I have a couple more that I haven't shown you guys yet. A couple more, a couple more, a couple more, a couple more. And I'll include them in my herbalism video. I'll include them in my herbalism video. I'm going to set them apart and include them in my herbalism video so that way I can show you guys the rest of them. And if you have more questions, clarifying questions, or you want me to show more things, or talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about more specific. that about every stone, but I promise it actually is. And this is actually a good one for Sagittarius as well. Malachite, 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 Malachite. Malachite is not welcoming change into your life. Um, it will cut, 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 snip, toxic people out of your life, and, um, it will change your life for the better. Change your life for the better. If something's not meant to be in your life, Malachite will take it out of your life. It's like the tamer version, the tamer version, tamer version. Multivite, which is 
another thing that cuts out all the things out of your life, which is quite sweet. For learning about crystals with me if you are still here. You are a G or you are asleep. <laughs> sleep. Go to 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 sleep. Get in bed and go to sleep. Close. 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 Close your eyes. Close. Close your eyes. Close. Close. Close your eyes. Close them. Sleep now or sleep later, go to sleep. 